What's up, everyone? It's Ill Gates here to show you how to install a MIDI remote script and get your new APC40 template up and running. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate the zip that you've downloaded from our website and open it. Once you've done that, you will have a folder, and inside of that folder will be the template, and then also this other special folder called APC Gates Will Marshall Live 9. And that is the folder for the MIDI remote script. And you can see all of these different elements of the Python code here on the right. Now, we want to move this entire folder inside of Ableton to the MIDI remote scripts folder. All right, so how you do that is you will open your applications folder and locate the version of Ableton you want to install the MIDI remote script to. To open the Ableton folder without opening Ableton, you right click and show package contents. Now we're inside the actual code of the Ableton software. So if you go into that folder and go to app resources, you'll see this folder MIDI remote scripts. Our job now is to drag this APC Gates Will Marshall Live 9 folder, not the contents of it, but the entire folder itself into MIDI remote scripts. Right? So I'm going to drag it and copy it and let it go. Now it's inside MIDI remote scripts exactly where it should be and the remote script is installed. So once again, that file path is Ableton, Contents, App Resources, MIDI remote scripts, and then drag the entire folder into that MIDI remote scripts folder. Now, once we've done that, we can open up Ableton and get Ableton communicating with the APC40. So once Ableton opens, you're going to want to press Command comma to open the preferences or simply select it up here from the menu. And from there, you will, uh, I'm just going to disengage all these guys here. So from there, it'll look like this and you'll go select the mini remote script. Okay, there it is. APC Gates will Marshall Live 9 and select the inputs and outputs to Akai APC 40, right? And now to get them talking to each other properly, you're gonna to wanna to turn track and remote on for both the inputs and the outputs of that APC template. There we go. Now Ableton is talking to the APC and they're using the mini remote script to communicate. You are all done and when you open the template, it will work. Thanks a lot for watching and congratulations on your new Ableton template. Have a nice day.